Greetings N7 recruits and veterans and welcome to a crazy video about what to do when you have two snipers on a very close board. We're just messing around with uh, characters here and then we put it on unknown unknown and the joke was made. Hey, I bet it's going to be uh, Glacier on Hazard and lo and behold we've got Glacier on Hazard. <laughs> so, Touched is uh, running a level 1 Geth Infiltrator with a Javelin. And he, Cyborg, and Bob are going to operate uh, from the lab and assault downstairs. So I am going to create a second snipering lame right here. What I'm doing is dangerous because uh, enemies will spawn to uh, my left here in the lab. So i got to be careful. But I'm going to be looking at this spawn point and trying to get some enemies here. Now the reason you want to do this is you don't want two snipers sniping down the same sniping lane. Because you'll both, both focus in on the same character, shoot him, and uh, then you're wasting your time because uh, two people don't need to shoot one target. So you say I can get targets. Guys will spawn in here, I just have to be careful, but not to worry, my teammates will be running back and forth between downstairs and the lab. Running the female quarry and infiltrator, uh, doing a uh, sabotage snipe build. So, see what I'm doing. Cloak, sabotage, then quickly snipe. I didn't spec into uh, any grenades. Uh, that's optional, and I kind of wish I would have helped you out for dragoons and phantoms because I'm not carrying a sidearm. You can shoot through this window, so I'm just taking a quick look. No one's going to be there. All right, get back into position. And don't get the hazard all over me. So that's what I'm waiting for. Enemies right there. However, enemies hop up on the landing pad right here. They take priority because they have a better firing angle on me. And as always, when you're reload canceling, uh, take your time with your shot. <laughs> Make sure you hit. Thank you, infrared scope. Guys start shooting at you. Hop out of the way. Hazard didn't quite kill him. Move it. I got stuff to shoot. Through the wall. Thank you, Infrared Scope. So the whole point of this is to uh, keep enemies from sneaking up on my teammates. You get four people all together uh, on Glacier, things can go wrong uh, quickly. As you'll see here, we got a hack. There's a two-for-one special. Got to love the penetration on that. That'll make up for all these shots where I miss. <laughs> so when you gotta gotta hang out here, watch for grenades and keep looking. You got three ways they can come to us. Just keep on looking for enemies, and hopefully we can do this. It's an early wave, so hopefully we can do this without getting overrun. And watch out for when the hazard comes through. Hack the Atlas. Watch how long it lasts. Dodge the grenade. The Atlas is still hacked. Now it wore off. Nope, still going. Excuse me. He gave the Dragoon a little, little rocket to the back of the head. Things like Atlases and Primes, you can hack them. Uh, but... It'll wear, it'll wear off, of course, and then if you hack him again, uh, it'll last for a shorter amount of time to the point where it just won't work on them at all. All right, we completed the hack. Get out of the area. Grab some ammo, and let's clean this up. So absolutely, hack those primes and hack the atlases, yeah, but, sh but keep working on them because you're not going to get a... Uh, a long time. You're not going to completely take over and uh, run the board with your <laughs> subservient atlas. Ah, 
I hadn't uh, done sabotage in a long time, so on this build, I uh, specter all the way uh, to level six and took berserk. Uh, you don't need it. You can take those six points out and put it into grenades if you want to. Uh, berserk's not that great, uh, especially for a level six tier, uh, but it's helpful. Just for the fact you get a little bit more damage. All right, so that's how you're supposed to do it. Two shots to kill a phantom. And I'll uh, see if I can repeat that. Oh, oh, there's one shot. Just need to get her. Oh, nope. Nope, she's got friends. Notice how I hacked the engineer and then shot the dragoon. And you see in the combat feed, the turret killed the engineer. So uh, things are going well in the background, and I am just messing this up. <laughs> I messed up a shot. Uh, I messed up the heavy melee. Uh, but I got him thanks to Sabotage. That was Sabotage that killed him at the end. Didn't show up in the feed. Uh, you don't get points for Sabotage. And it's been heavily nerfed, but it's still usable. You know, notice that touched. He's sniping, and uh, he brought along an Acolyte because uh, he's smarter than I am. And uh, I keep telling you guys in the videos to bring a sidearm. This is all videos from one night. <laughs> I see. I just did not have that sidearm. Bring the Acolyte. Okay, Cyborg's there. Enemies aren't going to spawn there, so look around over here. I've got two spawns on my left. Just wait for it. Okay, now I'm going to come and uh, back up Cyborg, get the guys downstairs. Like this Atlas. See, that was a reload cancel, but I took my time. I got a moving target. Take your time. He'll go down. If you hit him. Okay, I've got two mate, teammates down, so there's something bad there. I'm in the center. I do not want to be here, so i got to move. Okay, let's distract with that guy. I just hacked him, and I'm going to move. Oh, so now we have enemies on both sides. I'm going to go back around and try to turn these enemies around. So our team is going to get hemmed in. Attacked on two sides. All right, which way are you gonna go? Which way are you gonna? You're going that way. Get out of my way. Atlas in the landing pad. Just checking to see what's left on downstairs. Anything around here? Yep, Nemesis. But I want that engineer. Engineer's first. Nemesis second. Like shooting the engineers first because one, they're they're easier to hit. They have a wider profile, and two, I don't want them putting down those turrets. You can shoot through that window. It's a great thing to do. And don't forget when you're in the landing pad, you can shoot up in. So you see under Berserk, the Atlases aren't going to go running around shooting everything. Enemies just mostly just stand there. Uh, so you're just getting a little bit of damage bonus. Uh, totally skippable. All right, lots of spawns right here. Tell them, spawns in the lab, run away, get out of here. Even though we're all really, really close. They came really close. Okay, now Bob's got it. All the enemies are here. Hack that turret. Watch the turret go to work. Kill it because I don't want it to come back. This is where your long cloak comes in. Why am I running in here? I don't know. Got to get out of here. Let's grab the second one. You're thinking, wait a minute. How did Bob get that in there? How did we get that in there so fast? Well, we had three people in the lab causing all the ruckus, hacking turrets and such, and uh, we were able to get the object in. That's what matters. All right. Piece of cake. Hack the turret. 
Kill it. Hacking's great fun. But you want to get that turret out of there. This Bob has the uh, anti-synthetic rifle. Uh, everybody on your team's going to hear it because its sound travels throughout the entire board. Uh, you're not going to do a ton of damage with the synthetic rifle, but you're going to stun things. So, and well, okay, why wasn't that turret shooting everybody else? <laughs> oh, and that got me. <laughs> you never know what targeting is going to do. All three of my teammates walked by. Oh, if all three walked by, surely there's nothing around that corner, and I, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> ah, see, I almost got her through the cover, but she moved. And uh, this is why if I had a, uh, if I had an acolyte or a scorpion, I could be shooting and she'd be dead, but, uh, oh, oh, there you go. Don't let those invisible phantoms get away. Against the bigger targets, you can do your fast reload cancel and get that second shot in really fast. But thinner profile targets like the uh, pretty ladies, the nemesis, and the... Uh, Phantoms, take your time. Get that shot to count. And every once in a while it works. I love a headshot and a sword break at the same time. A little crash, tinkle, tinkle noise. That's their sword breaking. Okay, you can't vault over that cover right there. Have to go to the side, so the the the, the corner won't let you jump over. Oh, hey. Okay, nope, nope, not the dragoon. Shoot the phantom first. She has target priority. And watch for uh, touch. Headshot in the dragoon. When they get stuck up there, uh, sometimes the teammates can see them. I'm hosting so I can see them. Uh, but you got a moment. Pick which target you want. Phantom wins target priority. All right, I've got lots of phantoms ho hopping up. I'm telling my teammates. And I should be switching to an acolyte because things are going poorly. think about it, but there's only one that came around the corner. If there have been two phantoms, I probably would have done it. Two phantoms and a nemesis, sure. Luckily, Bob's here with the grenades. Thank you, Bob. So I always want to be talking to your teammates. You tell them spawns in the landing pad, and they'll, they'll come help you out. Most dangerous hazard. Right up there with with the acid rain on dagger. It's a Gauss cannon shot from the Alice that got me. Missed through cover. Bob's down and things are just really going bad. So in that case, wait. Wait for the phantoms to leave, disappear. Now let's get out of here. Try to make an escape route for my teammates in case we need to come out here. Auto aim pulled me out to her. I don't know, instead of this one. It's okay, just hesitate for a second. Adjust for auto aim and boom. Alright. 
up in the lab. Don't take the time to run up. Shoot him from there. Touched out. Let him finish it off with a javelin. Alright. Back into position. Wave 9. Two Atlases, wave nine on gold. You bet I'm using the rock. Two kill streaks. Well, that would have been a good spot for a rock. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Clusters of enemies. We got plenty of rockets. Gold late in the wave. Do it. This wave will go a lot better. Four rockets. Two of them were kill streaks. The other two are also good rockets. Good time, especially on a close board like this. If you're standing there and all of a sudden you have two atlases and two other mooks right in front of you, hit them. And that's what they made the rockets for. Uh, notice right there, uh, the hazard did a U-turn, and it'll do that. It'll just randomly change directions and come right back at you. All right, let's clear the landing zone. Clear it out. Okay, it's clear. Keep going forward. Keeps getting stuff from coming in the landing zone. What's in this room? More trouble. Long cloak. Let's turn them around. Uh, once I uncloak, they'll start chasing me this way. I got to it first. Try to run it through the middle. This is dangerous, but you watch. Bob sees which ways I'm going. I'm telling him I'm going through the center. Both Bob and Cyborg are here to clear it out. Alright. Big trouble. Phantoms. Angry hazard. Don't try to be a hero and be a dead body. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, now get it in. Phantoms are still going to be there. Hey, ladies, pay attention to me. Get in. Oh, I tried to get him. Got a little, little too anxious. Let's get out of here. Bob's ready for the group with the grenades. Three guys all together. Let's move away from the team. Yep, stuff's behind us. Once that Atlas does the ground pound, then he can sink kill you. So, if you're messing around and you see an uh, Atlas punch at one of your buddies, and you come running up, it'll sink kill you. It'll just grab you. So I gave him a little hack and ran away. Let's see if I can turn him around and keep him from shooting at my teammates. Watch that second time. See that third time the hack lasted maybe half a second. That's the third time I had hacked him. So first one will last. Second one you get maybe two seconds. Third one. Not a whole lot. A little splash damage there. Alright, I'm coming over here. Because it's uh, extraction wave. And we've just gotta just gotta keep on moving. Right, notice how uh, Sabotage is a little bit different than Energy Drain. Uh, they won't get staggered until they shoot their weapons. And that's when their their weapon overheats and they do damage. So see how it took a couple seconds? So, if you uh, shoot too quickly, uh, you might not get the stagger. Right, big trouble. Attack him. Get out of here. Yep, try to jump that corner again. Don't do it. All right, just keep moving, keep moving. Try to help Touch get out of that corner. Don't go in that corner. Unless you're specifically farming platinum and you got a plan. <laughs> Stay out of that corner. Okay, we still got a minute left, so we are not going to go for the extraction from here. Do a little U-turn. Head back down. Here, hack him. Cause a distraction. 
run through everybody here. Excuse me, everybody. Pardon me. Coming through. Let's pull the enemies downstairs. There's all those shots behind me. Now they're going for my teammates. Watch, they went the other way. If you split, the enemies will split, so they can't gang up on one group. Alright, 20 seconds. Let's start moving in. Probably have dragoons and phantoms. Yep, there's a dragoon. And there you go. So an extraction, just keep on moving. Keep moving. Give them a little, little rocket at the end. So that's what you do when you've got two snipers. Spread out, create different firing lanes, and there you go. A level one Geth Infiltrator with the Javelin. Ten. <laughs> What's the top score? Yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's a crazy match. Uh spec into uh put three put three levels of grenades in there that'll help you out and uh, take the acolyte or the scorpion for a sidearm maybe one of these days i'll actually do it instead of telling you guys all right hope you guys enjoyed that learned something until next time happy hunting